Hello everybody and welcome to a new Revit Pure video tutorial. Before we get going, please have a look at our new Manage Learning Package for Revit. It is the result of years of experiments to find the best possible workflows in Revit. It is a course made for intermediate to advanced Revit users and BIM managers. It contains an ebook PDF, video tutorials, a template, Dynamo scripts and much more. You can find more by checking the links in the description below. Thank you and let's get going. In this tutorial, we will explore how you can assign a color override to revision clouds based on the revision number. For example, revision number 1 will be red, revision number 2 will be green, and so on. You cannot use the View Filters tool to accomplish this task. You have to use Dynamo. In this example, you can see we run the Dynamo script, which turns each revision cloud to the correct color. Open Dynamo and create a Categories node. Then, add a node called All Elements of Category. In the drop down menu, pick the Revision Clouds category. Now, we will add a node from the Rhythm package. Make sure this package is installed. The node is called Elements, Get Parameter Value by Name, Type or Instance. We have to use this node because the out-of-the-box node doesn't give you access to certain parameters. Double-click to add a code block. Type in revision number and plug it in the parameter name. Run the script to see if it seems to be working so far. The numbers displayed here represent the revision number for each revision cloud. Add another node called list group by key. This will group each revision cloud in a sublist organized by the revision number. Now we need to create colors. Create a node called Color by ARGB. Copy and paste this node at least three times. You need one for each revision number. In this case, we create three. Now create a new code block and add the number values 255 and 0. Plug in 255 to the red, green and blue of each color node. Then plug in 0 for the rest. Merge all the colors together in the list by using the list create node. Test the script. You should have the red, green and blue colors in the list. The final node you'll need in the script is called Element Override Color in View. Plug the group elements in the input. Plug in the color list to the color node input. Try to run the script. Each revision cloud should get the color base on the revision number. A limitation of this script is that it only works in the active view. Let's create a version of the script that modifies all revision clouds on all views. First, delete the override color node. Now, you'll need to install a custom package called Genius Lochi. Add a node called Create Override Graphic Settings. Plug in the color list to the projection line color input. Then add another node from this custom package called View Set Element Overrides. Plug in the overrides and the revision clouds elements. Now you will need to add all views in the project. You could be more specific and only add specific types of views, but for now we'll use all of them. Create a Categories node and select Views. Create the All Elements from Category node and plug it in. Make sure that the Structural level is active in the Views input. Set it to Level 1. In this case, we've picked the wrong category, so we switch from Viewport to Views. 
Run the script again. It might take a while to finish. This version is much slower than the original one we've created. This time though, all revision clouds in all views are affected. If you have revision clouds placed on sheets, you will have to create a list with all views and all sheets in your project. A final tip, the categories node can have some issues on different versions of Revit. To solve the problem, install the monocall package. Select the categories node. Click on the drop down convert, which is the recycle icon here. It will convert the categories node to a code block, avoiding issues in the future.